Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. In this video, I want to walk you through a quick tutorial on how to use Mail Merge to print out labels. So, in this example, I have an Excel sheet with two columns one with the names of the clients, and another with the names of the products associated to them. I'd like to print out labels with names of the clients. So I'll have one label for Tom, one for Richard, one for Harry, and so on. And this way, I can peel off the label and stick it on the appropriate soft drink can. So I'll know that Tom is the one drinking Pepsi, and Richard is the one drinking Coke. We're going to be using Mail Merge to pull the names of the Excel sheet and format them so they can be printed out onto labels. To start, we'll close this Excel document and open a blank Word document. Click the Mailing tab. Click Start Mail Merge. Click Labels. You'll need to find out the product number or model number of the labels that you're printing to. For that, I went to the manufacturer's website and I found out from there. I have the product number that's equivalent to Avery 45160. If you've also found the Avery equivalent to yours, then select Avery US Letter for the label vendor. Once you've figured out the product number, find the number that corresponds with yours under the product number section. Then click OK. Click Select Recipients and click Use Existing List. Find the Excel sheet with the data that you'd like to turn into labels and double click it. If your Excel sheet had headers in the first row, then leave this check mark in place and click OK. Click the drop down arrow under Insert and Merge field. In my example, I'm going to click Client Name. Click Update Labels. Then click Preview Results. You'll now see all the names from the Excel sheet perfectly lined up with the format of your label sheet. Click Finish and Merge. Click Edit Individual Documents. Click OK. Click the crosshair at the top left corner to highlight everything. Click Layout under the Table Tools tab. Click the Align Top Center button to get all the text in your labels centered. Click the Home tab. Now increase or decrease your font size if you need to. Ensure you have the proper label paper in your printer, then click Print. If your label paper is in the manual feeder, ensure you select the appropriate tray from your printer properties window. You can now go ahead and print, and there you have it. You just printed a bunch of labels where the data originally came from an Excel file. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.